Good morning, good morning, Lola's. So today I'm back with Vegas, and as promised, I got him dressed in his little gift from his auntie from Puerto Rico. Um, Yarlena's reborn nursery. I call her Yaya. <laughs> she said I could. <laughs> so anyway, guys, Vegas is the Willow Asleep Sculpt by Claire Taylor. And so I wanted to show his little outfit first. So let's talk about that. Let's get into this outfit because it's a whole mood. Like, I don't know how I'm going to take him out of this. I'm going to take some better pictures so you guys can really see him in it. But I just want to try to get him on video. So it came with this little hat. Now, their sizes is different apparently because this outfit is considered to be preemie. But it's like newborn size. Vegas has a huge head which I love. No shade. Um, so the hat is a little small, but that's okay because he's still going to wear it. He's still going to rock it. Now, had he had hair, it would have been even cuter, but that's okay. It's okay. Um, and it came with this little uh, top bow tie. I didn't realize that it was broken down in so many pieces until I took it apart and I was like, oh my God, it made it even cuter. So this is a, a separate bow tie. The shirt is actually just a shirt. It's not a onesie and it's a button down shirt. And then he has this and it snaps at the bottom um, and buttons up at the top. And then he has on his little white socks and his vintage hard bottoms. And they do actually fit him. It may look a little big from this angle, but they work in form. Um, so, yeah, like, see this one turned to the side makes it, it look so, so much bigger. But anyway, nevertheless, um, this is my little guy. So, real quick, one thing that YouTube and this doll community is going to do is they're going to fact check everybody. So... I don't remember, I don't even recall if I ever broke it down in the video because sometimes people will cling on to one part of a video and they don't really listen to the whole thing. And I might have explained it, but I re-recorded that previous video a couple times. So I probably left it out. But I was saying, speaking on the difference in kit prices and someone brought to my attention, they were like, well, Kent by Claire Taylor is actually 2200 um 21 2200 or whatever because i said that this kit blank cost three thousand dollars this is what my kit costs because he has features he has a drinking wet and he has elbow armatures when you get through adding the 300 for the elbow armatures the 500 for the drinking wet that's how you get up to the higher price so Yes, I'm fully aware that they start out at like 2200 which is a really, you know, competitive price with what kits are starting to cost today's in today's market. Um, but you don't get any features. Um, you do, however, get the super soft, which a lot of people actually charge you more for that these days. Um, but that's already built into her price. So, yes. Um, Kent did start out at $22.50, I think, or something like that. I'm aware because I've bought two. So, um, in fact, I bought one, one I bought, painted, and sold. Um, one thing I'm going to tell you guys about me, if you're new to my channel, I'm very transparent. I don't do that whole blow the smoke up the butt type thing. Like a lot of people, you know, a lot of artists, a lot of sculptors, they like to say, oh, inflation of material cost and this is why my prices is this and that I never come on here and try to exaggerate price or anything to make you guys feel like this is why I'm charging XYZ um, I, I know a lot of artists try to justify their pricing it's not even necessary to be honest because I always look at successful business models when I think about you know these dolls and selling and buying you'll never see top high-end artists such as you know Claire Teller, Joanna Kay, um, Romy Stridham 
breaking down their material costs to justify because they put their product out and they let their work speak for itself and it's either gonna you're gonna buy it or not when you look at Target and Walmart um, you're not gonna see them breaking down their prices and stuff like that but you'll see it in this industry where people will be like yeah well the kit already cost me XYZ the only time you hear me telling people that is because I think a lot of people coming into the community is not aware of how much silicone babies cost the kit alone so that when they see a price like they're used to seeing reborn prices that say fifteen hundred all of a sudden they see a silicone baby like six thousand why you know or like someone offered me one time for a full body they offered me three thousand dollars I'm like ma'am you or twenty five hundred or something like that and then they went up to three thousand but I'm like ma'am you can't even get the kit for that price you know what I mean so that's the only time I will tell prices is trying to just help educate some people that may be new into the community. Um, but yeah, I'm not one of the ones like, oh, silicone has went up so high. That's why I have to start charging more. Now, shipping did go up, girl. I ain't going to lie. I was like, Ooh. but I feel like when your prices is already kind of up there, you kind of have a little cushion for when you know prices go up a little bit unless they really like do a triple dripple it, it's really just a, a thing that a tool that people use to market why they up their prices so um the way i like to explain it and a lot of people never really i don't think people consider this is that when you look at the high-end reborn artists like bianca what is her name Frankie or Frankie or and 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 something Clement Beatrice Clementine and you know Silva Azigwagi and all those people when you when you look at those people they literally get a free kit from the sculptor and they make three four five six seven eight nine ten thousand dollars off of even if they had paid for it a hundred and $50 kit at best. Do you think they're like going like, well, I use X, Y, Z. There's no way to explain that other than the fact that you're buying a piece of art and you're paying for the final product. There's no way to break that down. Like you can't break, you can't break those numbers down. There's no way that you could tell me that you burnt that much electricity on that one doll or you paid that much in paint, sponges, whatever. I don't care if you paint it with you know one strand of hair <laughs> and you use that as a paintbrush you cannot justify a kit if you're going to base it off of materials versus the price you you cannot tell me that this hundred dollar kit you spent that much in materials that it cost me seven thousand dollars to buy the end product the only way you could justify that is these people's skill set the time they've took to learn to 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 um, accumulate these skills and be able to present something that's so lifelike and something that appeals to you because of course it's a preference some people like oh that work is garbage you know blah 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 um yeah I mean you might feel how you feel but somebody else likes it and they they saw the worth in it and the value in it so there's that but yes um you definitely can get kits you um definitely can get you know like uh clear kits starting because she breaks down the options um some some sculptors don't really give you much options they put what they're going to put in it like say for instance Sylvia Manning kits may say, okay, they automatically come with an elbow armature. This kit is $2,800. There's no, do you want it, do you not? So, there's a difference. Um, when you're looking at people like Jennifer Costello, their prices might be $1,200, $1,400, $1,800. When you're looking at someone like uh, Mesa Said, um, the prices is like $1,750. If you want super soft, that's another $100. If you want armatures, in the arms that's another price if you want armatures in the legs that's another price if you want drinking wet that's another price if you want the little accessory to the belly button that's another price by the time you add that up 
you're at like if you wanted to get all the features or something equivalent to like say for instance this baby this baby is um three thousand dollars with elbow armatures and drinking wet if you want a full armature drinking wet and the little umbilical stump for one of the babies that mesa said just came out with the price is going to get up to about, I think I calculated at like $2,400, 20, $2, something like that. So it's a difference, a matter of a difference of about $600 to $800 depending on all the features that you get if you got every single feature. So even a fully loaded baby um, on the lesser end market will still be quite a bit cheaper sometime just depending on where you're going. But there's, you know, there's always pros and cons to each one of them. Some you're going to give on, like, um, and this is no shape. Like, some, they may not have defined ankle bones or wrist bones or a, a, a defined a little a booty bump. But the price is good. The face is cute. You got all the features. Boom. But over here, you're going to get very intricate details in the sculpting. You're going to get a very high quality drinking wet, high quality armatures. Not saying that this other stuff isn't high quality, but I'm just telling you like there's a long record or history that you can look back on and say this this is a well-established, you know, doll maker over here, artist, sculptor, whatever. And this is something kind of new, does have a history of you know things being pretty good so you know it's like give or take it just depends on the collector but either way it go um, these are some of the things I talk about in the chatterbox I no longer really talk about these things out here on the gym pop because I don't want to be in the middle of uh, oh my god she said this oh my god that's not right this is wrong this is you know I don't want to do that so I don't want to disturb everybody peace <laughs> so I I let people pay for me to disturb their peace. No, just play. No, I, I talk about these things in my charter box because, you know, I know these people for the most part, 90, probably 95% of the people that's in there are definitely real Lola's VIPs that's there for me. They're not trying to knock everything I say. They're not going to agree with everything I say either, but it's, it's not going to come from a bad place. And I'm not picking on the, the commenter or anything like that. I'm just using this as an example. But I know that when I talk about these things in here, we can have an open conversation and chat about this stuff without it being like, you know, a huge debate. Um, <clears throat> and some sometimes, you know, people in there also might fact check me and be like, oh, no, 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 I saw this already. And this that other, and I'm like, oh, okay, let me look that up. You're right, you know what I mean? Or, well, I look at it from this way or that way, and I'm like, ah, oh, you know what? That makes sense. You know what? I'll go with what she said, you know what I mean? So sometimes, because I'm very open minded, so sometimes my perspective may change on things based off of, you know, my own data, you know, other people's experiences just. It's just a combination of things. So anyway, I just thought I would come on and talk about that. And so shout out to uh, Yaya Yarlina's Rewind Nursery again for the outfit. It's amazing. Um, I was very touched by the love mail. I actually, and I also want you to know that I am using my planner daily right now. It is like my come with me everywhere I go book. It, it's my business planner. It's my life planner. I am like all my, I'm writing a lot of stuff in that thing. I love it. So, um, I was watching a show too. I was watching something and it was like a big, big name person. And they had one like the one that you sent me. And I was just like, man, I'm like, this is like so cool. I'm like, girl, let me find out I'm important. No, but, um, anyway, guys. Thank you guys for watching. I love all the Lolas. And this is our season, as someone else said in the comment section. So let's do this. Bye-bye.